All right, today is Monday and mail is not here yet, but I just want to do a quick little uh, pre-video here. I was looking up 1974 Topps signed cards because Chris Cards just put his cards in his 74 binder that he uh, got TTM and purchased, and I thought, well, let me just see what's going on with the 1974 Topps. You can see 1974 Topps signed was my search, and the first thing I got graded with was a 1984 Topps Dan Quisenberry. 1983 Topps Carlton Fisk, 2012 Gold Adrian Chambers Rookie, 2020 Topps Holiday Foil Nicky Lopez, Bowman Prospects, uh, Purple First Bowman Ken Giles card. Um, feel free to purchase any of these cards if you want. 20, 2001 Upper Deck, 70s All Decade, Tom Seaver, Pinnacle Then and Now Robin Yount, Bowman First Carson Fulmer, Topps Reddy Jackson, 82, 82 Topps Bucky Dent, 82 Topps Rod Carew, 2020 top series one Mike Trout. I mean, there are no 74 tops here. What is going on here? Uh, here's an NFL NCAA signed auto cards pick. I mean, that has nothing to do with 74 tops. Um, baseball 75 tops Reggie Smith. So that's got a crease for a dollar fifty. Not signed. Most of these cards 74 tops Carlos May. That's the first top 74 and is not signed for a dollar seventy three. So just let me know how terrible your eBay um, search experience is these days because a lot of people are complaining about it and I'll be back with the mail. Okay, I am back with the mail and I'm going to do what I call a semi-live on uh, on opening or whatever. Opening? On opening. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, we'll see what we got here. Uh, one thing I wanted to show and I forgot, oh I didn't forget but I actually deleted the video I believe. I got um, 5 of 5 from a golfer, and I didn't get to show that, but I wanted to show it right now, I'll show you one of the autographs here. Uh, this is Scott Simpson, a uh, pro golfer, uh, and I got him for the way of an eagle, that's one of the autographs I got. And I got Scott Simpson, there he is right there, and there is Paul Stankowski, and now I have Scott Simpson. That's where they fit in the book here. So that's really pretty cool, the way of an eagle. That would be a great project to get somebody started because most of these golfers are still alive. Uh, or you can purchase an index card and glue it in there. So let's see what we got in the mail today. The first one here is a bill. We don't need to see that one. Uh, we got one from Shingle Springs, California. And I sent them uh, this I'd like to help you out postcard with the exit there. And there is Shingle Springs right there and there on the physical fitness stamps. So that's cool. We got this one sent to Clarita, California uh, in a postal envelope here. Some of these come in postal envelopes, some of them don't. Let's see what we have here. Feels like an older postcard. And this one says Bishop Post Office. Inyo Mono Alpine Tri-County Fair, Bishop, California, 1968. So they figured it was worth saving there, protecting there. There's some sort of exposition hall or whatever. And there is the cancel, which is smudged a little bit, but I can read it well enough, and that's good enough for me. So that's cool there. Then we have this one in a huge, ridiculously large envelope. Maybe they gave me all my stuff back. I don't know. All my original envelope. Who knows? And nine uh, zip code there. Looks like my original envelope that came back. Um, Avila Beach, California. I guess it didn't get really well canceled, but when it got there, so there's Avila Beach right there. I might cut that out and save it. Um, it says enjoy. So on, and I usually use these uh, San Francisco postcards there. And this is just a random postcard I had laying around. You might as well use it. And Avila Beach has nicely canceled each Medal of Honor stamp there. So that is really pretty nice there. Next one we have here is in a Christmassy type envelope with the stars at the bottom. And um, this is the old uh, rate, I believe. I'm not sure. Envelope is all beat up and taped. Um, but we will... Uh, something happened to the envelope. Maybe they actually sliced through it in the package. I'm not sure what happened here see what this is. This is out of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So I don't know who in Baton Rouge, Louisiana I would have sent to. Okay. 
So we've got Shaney Dugas, Albuquerque. So maybe he uh, uh, was busy during the uh, season. I don't know. All the best, Shaney Dugas, uh, for the Albuquerque Dukes. Interesting. I totally forgot about that one. Um, didn't send that out. I think I sent it out this year. I'm not really 100% sure, but really cute. Cool. Or Q, really cute. Really cool. Really neat. And that's the stamps there if I didn't show them already. So one autograph success and a bunch of postcards. Time for lunchtime. Hope you enjoyed that and the previous part of the video.